with the weather being so crap i've decided to go for a job i can do inside so i'm gonna have a mess around and i've already painted this one fiat key um this one's just getting a little bit old the alpha and male one's just getting a bit loose there it doesn't have that nice click anymore i mean don't get me wrong a new one of them would probably work just as well as this one but i just want to change it up a little bit Ooh, it's got that nice little you know it just feels solid that one so well i'm gonna see first of all if i can get the insides of this in this and it actually fit i mean i think it will usually it's compatible between the two so i'm gonna strip them both down first gonna strip down the alpha romeo one strip down the fear one and then go from there With the alpha one you just need to take the rubber sort of button cover off and then there's a phillips just here underneath the badge And start priming apart and the spring that obviously flicks this up when you click the button will likely come off nope all right So that's all I want out there for a male one. Then with the Fiat, you just pull it apart this one. The bits I painted are just casings. And on this one, so I'm gonna just get that out of the way. But the Phillips is on the back. This Fiat one's got a couple of little tubs I think you might need to... I don't know if you can see, probably I've tried to put some lights so you should be able to see just here and here, I think they're the only two. A small bit. Try and prime the top part over instead of.
I might not put it back in. I'll see what it looks like. I don't hang any keys off mine or anything. So those two little bits are the bits that hold it when it flicks open and shut. This is going to be the tricky bit I didn't want to do on camera. So I need to wind it so the tension from the front springs clockwise so it needs to be wound sort of thing down to release it that way. Right. And that looks like it just stay there. But we'll try and fit the innards of the alpha mercury first. sitting on those springs at the bottom. We'll see what happens. So now this is the Alpha Romero one. While that spring's in there, I'm just going to use that one. So if you can see that little etching on the top there, that's where the flat bit at the end of the spring sits. So I want to wind it from the back that way. So that actually spins. I just did the other one. I didn't see that when I first did the fit to get it out of the way. Rather than trying to pry it off like I did. So see the spring round the keeping that spring down. Try to spin that back around. Spring back behind the button. Sitting as nice as it was in the Alpha Romeo one at all, but those springs they look like they're for the battery part of the back, so like the bottom bit that was, that was the bit I was worried about with the spring, that's fine, but it's the top now that. Doesn't feel mm. 
Okay, 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 okay. Again, I'm going to quickly get that screw in. I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave the key ring bit off. Just put the casing back on. I'm going to take the battery. Oh, I ain't got a spare. I'm going to take the battery. I don't know how from where I want. Well, I couldn't find the uh, little stubby screw there that locks and unlocks the battery bit uh, for the Fiat one. I've had it in and out of the garage that many times, messing around, painting it, and I've lost it. So I've nicked it off the Alfa Romeo one for now. But it does come with a new one, and that's that's just my cop up. So that's the key done. But I'm now going to go check it and see. Right, we're outside. Does the boot. Unlocks, locks. But just in case, looking good. So it. I'm well happy with that. I know a lot of people can say the Alfa Romeo one. It's made to look like the grill, the Scudetto, and this is Fiat. Blah blah. But I really like the feel of that, that looks nice. Should have gone for a different colour, I think. I don't know. I don't know, it looks right. But yeah, so that's that back together. All I've got to do is put the little sticker on there, whichever one you want. Um, the Alfa Romeo one goes back together just the same way, so I'm not going to waste your time doing it twice. But um, yeah, so that's the key change. Fiat to Alfa and Alfa to Fiat. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.